Hello folks. The old silly moustache. Again. It's the Sunday before Christmas. Well, what a year. Um, and uh, things are still looking a bit dark, but hope springs eternal. Um, during lockdown, uh, I have was contacted by somebody who asked me if I would give them Zoom lessons. Give him Zoom lessons. And so I had to learn that process, and we did, and we found that we got on really well. And um, then somebody else, and then somebody else, and somebody else. <laughs> and um, it has worked rather well, and I've learned a lot. Um, I'm not a trained teacher, and I have no formal musical education. But I do have a few years of experiment, um, of experience, of experiments, experience, in both playing and watching and listening to others. And I can remember when I didn't know the stuff I know now. And also, I have learnt to play guitar three times. So I know how difficult it can be. Let me give you a little bit of background. I was a drummer in the 60s. I picked up a guitar for the first time in probably late the late 60s. And um, I was in London at the time, and the folk and the blues scene were burgeoning. Uh, you could go to a, a club and see fantastic performers and musicians, and now famous names, uh, almost every night. Uh, I went to guitar lessons, but frankly, they rarely helped me. And I uh, was a bit frustrated about that, but I realised now, being on the other end, that um, it was because I couldn't explain what I wanted. And um, the people that were, were teaching guitar at that time were teaching a much more formal sort of arrangement. And uh, I couldn't relate to what they were doing. Uh, in 1975, I found myself in two bluegrass bands and had to learn a whole new technique. And I also had to learn to play mandolin and dobro. No internet, no, no how-to books or anything like that. But it widened my perspective somewhat. Uh, in 1983, I became very seriously ill and I literally could not play for 10 whole years. In the latter end of that uh, era, I became interested in photography and that became my creative outlet. And I started winning prizes and awards and things and I soon got booked to give talks. <coughs> which proved very, <coughs> very interesting because... I found myself standing on stages in front of large groups of people presenting and informing and entertaining. So that helped my performing skills generally when I eventually, in 1993, I got my Martin D35 out of the attic and learned to play again. During that time, I'd been listening increasingly to mainly American singer-songwriters and that demanded a different sort of approach it wasn't bluegrass um, boom chick boom chick stuff all the time and there was more expression more thought put into the uh, into the playing styles and I started doing floor spots but believe me I made every possible mistake you can think of but then I formed a duo with a bass player and then a dobro mandolin player came along and uh, then there's bluegrass bands, um, and I was also doing solo gigs. And in 2006, I opened my own acoustic music club. Now, I used to sit in audiences, <clears throat> and I used to watch many fine professionals. And I used to see how, whilst they might have been excellent musicians and great singers, they had the talents of presentation, entertainment, and communication. And I watched amateurs getting up and doing floor spots and things. 
and they didn't have those talents. They lacked something. And um, I started to realise that most people could do aspects of performing and entertaining an audience, but not all. Well, the first thing I did, of course, was try to eradicate those common errors from my performances, partially successfully. Um, and, um, and, and then I found people coming to me and asking me for advice and guidance. And I kind of started teaching uh, uh, only when people asked me to. And, um, and they, I'd invite them here and they'd sit where the camera is now, you know, about a metre or two apart. Um, and, um, and that was fine. Uh, but actually, I find the Zoom lessons are more effective. There's a degree of separation, which is good, but we can still communicate closely. Anyway, um, in 2017 I got throat cancer and, um, and that messed up the whole of that year, plus my throat, and I had to literally learn to talk again and then to sing and play guitar. I'd lost so much weight I couldn't hold the strings down, things like that. Um, but it gave me a better perspective of the challenges that people have. You mean it's difficult to form an F? Well, yeah, it is now. You know, these aren't the same as they were before cancer treatment. Um, and, you know, to teach, you have to remember when it was difficult. So it's good to be reminded of those things every so often. Now, what's my teaching method? Well, I don't have one. Um, I don't like to have um, a standard uh, methodology. I don't, um, I, I don't choose to dictate how the, the, the teaching will go. Um, I prefer to help you sing and play like you. Yeah, I could, well, I probably couldn't, but I know that some people will teach you to play in the style of this person, that person, whatever. I, I'm, I'm not really the guy for that. Uh, and uh, I would tend to work on your style. Some people ask me to teach them my styles whatever they may be, and I will do that, but let's find ways to adapt it into what you want to do. And again, there's no stupid questions, and I never say it's easy, because I remember when it wasn't. And of course it's okay to be nervous, and I can help with that. People are less nervous, I find, over in a Zoom meeting than face-to-face, -face, so I mentioned that. So how does it work? Well, you email me, um, we discuss your needs, then we agree an initial one-time Zoom session and I ask you to sing and play a little bit if you can and um, from that I can usually work out what um, areas uh, for improvement there are and then we discuss how to proceed and we work on that together. I don't use notation or tablature. Um, I feel that they teach you to play like somebody else has written down rather than like you. Um, but I do often find that some basic music theory can help a lot. I prepare information sheets, song sheets, meeting notes, homework if you wish, and I'm happy to work together on songs, technique, singing, confidence, and, um, and presentation skills. Payment, um, well, for the USA, uh, North America, it's 50 USD per session. In EU, Greater Europe, it's 45 euro, and in the UK, it's 35 pounds. I accept PayPal, and you pay after the session if you're satisfied. I take the risk. <coughs> Pardon me. There's no commitment um, to the numbers of sessions or the frequency of sessions, although I recommend weekly. Um, but it's up to you. Uh, by the way, I often spend quite a lot of time in those pre-post preparation things and writing out songs and things like that. And I don't currently charge for those, but if you ever felt like making a contribution for those, then that would be welcomed. Um, sessions are usually around an hour. I don't watch the clock. We often overrun, and that's fine by me if it's fine by you. Um, I don't charge by the minute or anything like that. Now, let's face it, we share a common interest, 
in the music and in the instruments and um, most of my clients have become friends and we chat. Now because of Covid um, I've got a letter from the government telling me that I am extremely vulnerable that's my category so I don't get out much so I'm available most days. Um, now it may be that it might be better to start doing things uh, after Christmas and New Year but if you're at home and you're available, you're retired or whatever, um, weekdays are fine, uh, weekends get a bit crowded. But why not email me now and we'll prepare something for 2021. We've got to have something to look forward to, haven't we? Um, so my email address are in the details just below this. And as always, thanks for watching. But some thanks are due here. First of all, thank you to Sean who got me started on this Zoom lesson business. Uh, thank you to, um, to Mark and Bob and all the other folks that have um, followed along. And, um, and thank you to all of those folks that have uh, read my or watched my videos and sent comments uh, to which I always try to reply. And, um, and people who have heard of me through the Acoustic Guitar Forum and other forums. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. And um, I, from the depth of my heart, I do hope that 2021 will prove to be a safe and a happier year for you all. So stay safe, folks.